Marty Trenkel. Hi, Greg. Marty. Hello. Good to see you. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. And today you're wearing a matching Swain Memorial Park Playground Renovation Project t-shirts. Right. So I'm guessing that's what we're talking about today. Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Tell us, uh, first up, what is the, uh, the history of the, the playground? Where is it? What's, uh, what's the, the project all about? Okay. Well, the, the playground is uh, one of the village, one of the three village parks. Uh, it's the only one with any kind of play equipment on it, mm -hmm. and it's very dated. Uh, it's mm -hmm. north of town. It's, uh, you know, tucked on the uh, river, and so it's got some water and a uh, uh, pavilion, mm -hmm. but the, uh, the play equipment is so old, it's downright dangerous. Uh, the play surfaces are worn out. They don't, uh, uh, they're not safe anymore. So we're actually taking out all of the older equipment. We're putting in ADA compliant uh, surfaces. There's pictures of the old. Oh uh, yeah, the old metal playground equipment. The old metal equipment. plate and the <coughs> merry-go-round that you can, uh, you know, dig a hole in. And there's no, no play surfaces. Uh, so we're replacing all that you see in these pictures here with uh, ADA compliant. Now this is a picture of uh, uh, the smaller area that the left hand side is actually there but the new climbing dome and we're replacing some older uh, spring ones. This is for the two to five year olds and uh, in the background you see uh, this is an existing structure that the uh, high school I think it was wrestling or football team put up years ago but it's still compliant so we're redoing the surfacing and putting in a, a more compliant area and repairing some of the older stuff. And then as we get into the, uh, the newer area where we're replacing it, uh, we're getting into completely new swings. Uh, the big thing in the center is called the Netplex and it's uh, uh, very uh, accommodating for uh, uh, challenged physically challenged kids can actually get up to Netplex. They really like it. Uh, we have a Wii saw in the corner, which is a, a four-person seesaw, and the, uh, the merry-go-round in the forefront of the picture here is actually uh, uh, fully accessible and, uh, and controlled. So uh, this is a huge difference for what's going to be, what's there now, and it's already uh, uh, you know, creating quite a, a, a big uh, fervor. Yeah, it looks awesome, and it's pretty ambitious. There's a lot going on. <laughs> yes. So, so this is the largest project that the Kiwanis uh, Club of Brooklyn has ever undertaken, as, as I understand it. Nice. How big is the Kiwanis Club of Brooklyn? Uh, we have, what, between 25 and 30 members yeah. on the roll. Yeah. Um, a, a small core of dedicated people mm. uh, coordinating most of the activities. Um, we have a committee for this particular project of five members, and we've been we've been meeting, gosh, for all, over two years. Two now. years. Mm -hmm. Now it's not just us. We have to say that the the village of Brooklyn right. has uh, also they've gotten a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar grant from the state to also uh, you know update mm -hmm. and and make it accessible. So so they're actually a huge reason that we're able to do this because the. Uh, the surfacing and the excavation and the removal of the equipment, sidewalks to it are all part of their project to, uh, to also improve the park. So, so together, we're really uh, uh, making this park usable for all. That's awesome. Well, 250000 sounds like a lot of money, but that's not, not quite enough. No. No. And you've got a uh, fundraising uh, campaign, and you're doing this on patronicity? Right. And will you get matches? Uh, yes. This is actually um, the public places, community place, spaces program uh, through the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. Uh, one of our members uh, brought this forward and we filled out the application, which was kind of quite a process. And the MEDC approved this on July 26th. And this campaign uh, went live at 11 o'clock this morning. So I- Breaking news. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, I pressed the donate <laughs> button and it's, it's open for business. Yeah, so uh, the, the chart that you saw there, this is uh, to finalize uh, our purchase of the equipment we're gonna be installing. 
And so we're at roughly 102,000. So we have a gap of 35 and the, uh, um, the MEDC will match our, our $17,500 goal. If we meet it, they will match it, but we need to meet that for them to match it. So it's, it's important to us. It's, it's only a 60 day program. So mm -hmm. we're, we're looking for, you know, people not to, uh, play around, but to just give us whatever they can. Everything counts. And it's, yeah, they do work. Uh, a few years ago, uh, the Bright Wallace mural team did a patronicity mm -hmm. uh, fundraiser and they were able to get a uh, match and they met the deadline and reached their goal. So the community has some experience with that. So maybe you were one of those donors a few years ago and uh, check this one out and help these guys as well. It's amazing how much money you've already raised. How have you been able to, to do that? What kinds of things have you been doing? <laughs> Well, we, we do, uh, uh, you know, just little things. Our normal intake is, uh, is very, very modest. So this is way above it. And we've had one donor who uh, really gave us a significant, almost 50% of the, the donation in a single donation. So that's uh, been really driving it and allowing us to finish it this year. And you're going to be able to recognize some of the big donors um, with some signage or Definitely. something? Definitely. Yeah. We're um, plans are in the work for a donor plaque. Uh, any donor who contributes at least uh, $500, their name will be immortalized on this plaque that will be on display in the park. Are there going to be some uh, fundraising events um, that you're going to be having in the next uh, few weeks? Well, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> we um, will be having a, a bingo. Uh, this Wednesday at 6 o'clock at the American Legion in Brooklyn. And we're going to be doing those on the third Wednesday of every month uh, through December, at least at this point. Yeah, so we've had a lot of the community uh, groups uh, be part of, you know, helping us, especially the American Legion, by giving us the ability to use their hall. And uh, so the, their contribution has been uh, their space right now. And, of course, uh, the uh, when we come to needing volunteers for the build, it is a community build, so we're going to need arms and legs and hands. And uh, so, if you can't contribute money on August 26th, we're going to need people to help us start putting it in. All right, so you're raising the money to pay for the uh, equipment, so it's going to show up in like an uh, IKEA box, <laughs> essentially. Okay, yeah, and it's then a giant the, IKEA kit. Yeah, and you'll have. Uh, uh, probably a, uh, a day or a set of days where you're... Well, it's going to be two days. Uh, the okay. first, first one is October 26th, where we're going to prep the site and do the footings and pour the concrete. Mm -hmm. And then the big one is the next weekend, which is November 2nd at this point, where we need people to put together our big erector set. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, uh, we'll have repairing, painting, bolting, mm -hmm. sorting, it's going to be a crazy day. Well, it sounds like you guys as a group are uh, very involved and very active in the community, but um, you probably could use maybe some more members, particularly as you near the end of this project. Always. What, Always need more. Uh, where do you meet? What's, tell us a little bit about uh, what it's like to be part of the uh, Kiwanis Club of Brooklyn. Well, we have a general membership meeting on the first Tuesday of every month, and that takes place at 1130 at the American Legion on Chicago Street in Brooklyn. Um, then we have another meeting of the membership. Uh, it's, we've kind of uh, geared it more toward a social event, mm -hmm. and that takes place uh, on the last Thursday at the Clark Lake Golf Club, also in Brooklyn. And so people can order dinner if they want to. And if they want to uh, check out joining, just show up at one of your regular yes uh, absolutely or you know contact us and we'll we'll tell them how yeah. to do that but and and we get involved with uh you know like you said the uh, uh the bingo but we also uh, kiwanis is focused on kids mm -hmm. and so we deliver uh these dictionaries to the elementary schools we have a bike rodeo where we repair kids bikes and even upgrade them uh if they if we can mm -hmm. Uh, we have a craft fair at, in, in October that uh, helps fund things. We also have, uh, 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 we support the 
pumpkin quest and things like that that go on. For, so if it's a kid's activity that's going on in Brooklyn, generally we're part of it. That's great. So if you want to be part of this by uh, making a donation or signing up to help when it comes time to put it all together, uh, what, what do you do? You visit uh, patronicity.com slash Swain Park. Right. right. Or right. use the QR code that's on there, yeah, and it'll take you right there. Yeah, that is so slick. I mean, just <laughs> take a photo of that uh, QR code, and you're right there. All right, there mm -hmm. you go. Hope you get uh, get to your goal and then some. Great job. Thanks for coming in today. Thank Thanks you. for having us. You bet. Uh, working on the Swain Memorial Playground renovation project from the Kiwanis Club of Brooklyn, Greg Shira and Marty Trenkel. Well, next, we've got uh, some birthdays to celebrate the, the club, the birthday club, after this.